Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC radio show, The Christian Business Connection with Evangelist Nona Thomas. Oh, I am excited that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. To God be the glory for everything he's done. Oh, I'm excited about this Sunday morning. I hope you are too, my friends. Look, if you are coming out of your morning service or if you are on your way to service this morning here in this broadcast, Or if you're just at home, let me tell you, God loves you. He does. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. And I want to tell you that one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible is the joy of the Lord is my strength. So I want to encourage you this morning to be joyful in the Lord. I didn't say be joyful in maybe some circumstances that are not so joyful or pleasant this morning. I'm saying the joy of the Lord is is your strength. Hallelujah. Well, I also want to say a a special good morning to Eddie Randall and Son's Funeral Home. I thank God for the work that Mr. Randall is doing in the community. They're being there for families in their time of bereavement, their time of need. They've been serving the St. Louis metropolitan area for so many years. And so I want to encourage you to go to my website of the CBC radio show.com so you can get more information information about Eddie Randall and Sons Funeral Home. Well, my guests this morning are some great, great, great folks. I love every single one of them. I'm thankful for them being a part of the show today. Our first guest is Vance Watt, the worship arts pastor of the Word at Shaw Church. Glory to God. He is under the leadership of Pastor Keith Scarborough, and he's going to be talking this morning about some great things that are going on at the Word at Shaw. And then we're going to be speaking this morning with Pastor Kevin Todd of the Basics of the Faith Ministry. Let me tell you friends, he has got a class workshop that is coming up on Saturday, March the 26th and he is going to be talking on the historical evidence for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness, what a great witnessing tool. What a great time if you have questions to come on out and hear what the Lord is saying. So make sure you tune in for his interview. It's really going to be a blessing to you. And then we're going to have on the program my son, Sean Scooter Thomas. He's going to be giving God the glory for the phenomenal time that we had last night at the Lyrical Bliss concert at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center and some upcoming things for Wisdom Over Hustle. I also want to take this moment to say thank you, St. Louis. We had an amazing time at the CBC Evening of Synergy that was at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. We had a fantastic time on Friday night. Thank you so much for Mr. Michael McMillan. Thank you so much for uh, just being supportive of the Christian Business Connection and the CBC Radio Show. Thank you so much, Mrs. Angelia Beals, and all that you do. Thank you for being supportive of the Christian Business Connection. We had a great, great, great time. And I know that everyone who was in attendance had a great time there, too. Yeah, I'm speaking that. I know you did. I saw a lot of smiling faces. The food was fantastic. Thank you to uh, Andrea Stewart of Banana Yummy. She was our caterer. And wow, wow. That's all I can say is just wow. Look, friends, if you missed that event on this past Friday, our evening of Synergy, you do not want to miss the next one. We do these events every two months, our networking event for the evening of Synergy. And we have one that's going to be coming up in May. So stay tuned to my website. Of course, you're going to hear me talking about it on the show. You don't want to miss the next one. The Lord always meets us there. It is truly a great, great opportunity. It's a great networking platform. Uh, We have vendors there. And one of the things I say about our evening of synergy is when we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. And that is what happened this past Friday. Well, friends, I'm going to take a short break. And I tell you, I I'm going to get right to it. When we come back, we're going to talk with Mr. Vance Watt, the worship arts pastor of the Word at Shaw Church. He's going to talk about the fantastic things that are going on. And 
outreach in South St. Louis. That's what we need more of, my friends, churches with outreach, because it's not just about the four walls. Oh, we got to go out. We got to go out and touch touch people. We got to let them know that we care. It's not just about preaching to them, but people need a tangible touch, a hug. We need to find them. We need to go in the highways and the byways. Come on now. So I love outreach ministries, and we're going to hear the great things that the Word at Shaw is doing. So stay with me. Go take a short break. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Reggie Brooks with J.C. Supper Club, located at 9053 Riverview Drive, right at the fork of Hall Street in Riverview. I'm inviting you to come out and have dinner or lunch with us at any time you want. Happy hour, Tuesday through Friday from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. We also have uh, the availability for you to call in and place an order. So if you'd like, just give us a call at 314-755-1923. That's 314-755-1923. See you soon. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the the glory. Hi, this is Michael McMillan, President and CEO of the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. Glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we're going to be talking with a great man of God this morning. Truly, he is. And I'm so excited about the things that are going on at his church. I'm so excited about what really he is doing in the body of Christ. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Mr. Vance Watt, the worship arts pastor of the Word at Shaw Church. Good morning. Hey, good morning. It's good to be here. It's Well, you know what? It's good to hear your voice, my brother. Let me tell you. <laughs> now, I, I didn't prep you on this question, but this is what I ask everybody who comes on the show. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Uh, most definitely is, and I am worshiping and being glad in it. All right, all right, yes, yes, you are. Well, you know, there's just a, an electricity that's going on over on the south side with the word at Shaw Church. So, you know, what's happening over there? <laughs> I know a little something about it, but yeah, just a, a new ministry that we planted down in the Shaw neighborhood a little bit over five years ago now. Uh-huh. Um, and yeah, we just been there serving the community um, on a daily basis ever since we opened shop. You know, that's a uh, you you really are uh, serving the community. And of course, under the leadership of Pastor Keith Scarborough, I mean, he's really he's fantastic, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He's the man. Yep, he holds it all together for us. Everything. I know he does. Uh, Tell us about some of the ministries that are represented at the Word of Shaw. Uh, Different day to day or weekly ministries we have going on. One. It's kind of a lot to go through, but I'll, I'll do the best that I can right now in the time that we have. But one, uh, and what actually led me to the church plant, is a, a ministry called Furnish and Hope, uh, to where we work with different transitional houses um, and different programs. And what happens is once the women or the, the men go through a certain amount of training with whatever, with whatever uh, shelter or home they're in, they're able to come to our church and pick out furniture to furnish their new apartment as they're transitioning through the different uh, programs. And so uh, Pastor Keith really made it look like a, it's a Rockman's furniture or something <laughs> in, our, uh, in, in, our, in our, the lower bottom of our facilities at the church. So they get to come in and not just go through a whole bunch of stuff piled on top of one another, but they get to come in and shop uh, with dignity. And the best part about it for them all is that it's all free, uh, no charge. Folks donate, donate us furniture. Um, on a regular basis, we always have uh, overstock of furniture, so we never run out. But it's not junk either. They get to come in and pick some really quality uh, material as they're moving into their new place. You know, I have seen, I, I have seen that, and you're right. It's like it's like a, a a brand name furniture store, and and that's God too, because you know we have to meet people where they are, not just spiritually to lead them to Christ, but but naturally, people. You know, we have to be a tangible touch, don't you think? Oh, yeah. And even with this uh, particular ministry, uh, 
they don't necessarily become members of our church or anything, but they get to pass through. We get to share the gospel. We get to pray. We get to uh, share memories with them as well. Um, but it's definitely just a service that we provide for the community, for these folks. So yeah, it's not even just to grow our church, but we really are here just serving the community in word and in deed. That's it. It's really about outreach. And I, from the time that I have been affiliated with the church, I have seen great outreach ministries. Tell us about other things that the church is doing. Um, another thing we have going on every Wednesday, uh, we have AA on the Rocks in uh, 9 al And that's a, a night where um, if you have different addictions that you were overcome and you just need a group of a body of folks to be around for encouragement for week to week, uh, we have that every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. In, the, in our coffee shop at the church. Um, another ministry we have going on through the week is called SNAP. It's the Shaw Neighborhood After School Program. So on Thursday nights, we have Glorita and Brooke. They lead up our SNAP program, and kids come there every week, and they can do homework, learn crafts, learn music, uh, work on our computers in the computer lab, uh, just different things like that, giving them an opportunity to be off the streets and uh, to be in a fun environment. Uh, so that's another one. You know, I have seen uh, the results. I've seen uh, the children participate in the SNAP program. And, I mean, th- they just seem like they're having so much fun. I mean, it's really a great atmosphere, isn't it? Awesome. It's a blessing, yep. And then for me, with me being in the, the art side of it, I get to utilize some of those kids on Sunday mornings from time to time. Uh, they'll come and share a song. Or uh, one time we did a little drum line using a little um, Home Depot buckets, <laughs> so they were keeping rhythm on stage doing our praise and worship service, uh, banging on buckets with drumsticks, and that was a, a good, uh, fun time for us. Yeah, so it's definitely uh, helping the kids, and it's helpful for us as well, being able to be, like I said, again, serving the community in that capacity. Yes. You know, one thing I love about the, the, the church ministry there is that you guys are really, you, you're out of the box. I, I don't know if there ever was a box. What do you think? <laughs> well, you, well, you see, you know, it's hard for, to get with us sometimes because of all the work that's going on. So <laughs> it's always, it's never a dull moment at all. But it's it's a lot of work. Uh, like I say, we, a lot of folks want to sign up for full-time ministry. Um, and sometimes for them, that looks like just Sunday morning and a Wednesday night Bible study. But uh, we're really engaged in full-time ministry uh, pretty much seven days a week. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you brought up that point. And I want you kind of to expound on that because, yes, you know, sometimes we, we, we look at that from the outside and, you know, everything seems, you know, you know, just polished and it's running smooth. But there is there's a labor in ministry. There is a sacrifice that you have to make to make sure things are done in excellence and until the glory of God. Am I right? Oh, yeah. And like you say, Pastor Keith, he's been a great leader at that um um, first thing he did coming into the community, into the neighborhood, he just went and just served. He wasn't just inviting folks to church. He just went into the community, uh, meeting folks and uh, just being there with the people and, and participating in the neighborhood watch meetings and things like that. And that's not a, a, a nine to five gig right there. <laughs> that's um, all day, every day, <laughs> not getting home till nine and 10 o'clock at night. But yeah, so it's, it's definitely a, um, it's definitely not for everybody, but like I say, uh, full-time ministry is what we do uh, seriously down here in the neighborhood and beyond. That's right. That's right. Well, I want to let my listeners know, if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Vance Watt, the worship arts pastor at The Word at Shaw Church. Uh, Brother Vance, tell me, In you say there were many things that led you to the church, that you believe the Lord led you to the church to be a part of what's going on. I want to ask you, what continually keeps you at the church? Uh, it's definitely the calling of the Holy Spirit and where God has planted uh, my family. Uh, so that's, that's definitely the first thing. But I say things like, um, I was tired of doing church and just having church in the typical uh, week-to-week thing and whatnot. And it's, it's good and it works. We all need a, a place to be um, for where we are in our lives. But I was actually just looking for more and wanting to be more involved on a regular basis, like I say, real uh, real full-time ministry. And just the different things like the Furnishing Hope and the SNAP program and the different programs that we were able to create down here. Um, that's just really what I was looking for. Um, one thing I didn't mention, we, we do a poetry night, an open mic night uh, every so often. Um, where people can just come in off the streets and share their their gifts and talents or whatnot. It's not necessarily all Christian and um, and just all about Jesus every time, but it's just another opening door for them. But just trying to find those different things where we can meet people where they are on their journey, and then in that journey we can help and encourage them to uh, continue to see Christ and continue to live for Christ uh, along the way. Yeah. And so that's what that's what initially led me down here. Just really tired of. Um, well, not even just necessarily tired of, just knowing that there was something more. 
That's it. Yes, there, was, there was more that I that I could be doing with my gifts and my talents yes. versus just versus just doing the music on Sunday mornings and on a Wednesday night practice or Bible study. Right, right. And you know, we could take uh, uh, another hour just to really talk about the gifts and the talents that the Lord has poured into your life. Uh, you know, uh, uh, for those who may not know your 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 birth name, as they say, uh, they may know the stage name in which you have traveled all across the country as praise. And I know that there are some things that the Lord has done uh, for you, for your family, and in and, and music that it's, it's really more to come. We should be looking for something real real soon, shouldn't we? Uh, yes, ma'am. It's always something on, in the works. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Always. Something in the works. Now, um, I know that we are right here. This is Easter month, and uh, the church is doing some fantastic things as we lead up to the Easter uh, morning service. Tell us about that, because I know you want to invite everyone out to come and share that day, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, not even just Easter Sunday, but leading up to Easter Sunday, we're going to celebrate Palm Sunday on the 20th of March, and our service starts at 11 o'clock that day. Um, and on the 25th of March is Good Friday. We're going to have a special presentation at 7 p.m. that evening, and that's going to lead us into our Easter Sunday morning celebration on the 27th, which starts at 11 o'clock as well. Um, I can give the address is 4265 Shaw Boulevard, 63110. That's the word is Shaw, 4265 Shaw Boulevard, uh, 63110, St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, we're right on the corner of Botanical and Shaw, and we're right on the corner where the Botanical Garden is as well. Right, that's a great landmark. You, if you if you know where the Botanical Garden is, Missouri Botanical Garden, well, you're right there at the Word at Shaw. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you know, Pastor Keith is going to be on the uh, program uh, coming up very soon, uh, but. I, I think that you can even speak uh, on behalf of Pastor Keith on 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 how you want to reach out to the community and to invite people to come to the church. Would you do that? Oh yeah, you are. Everyone is always welcome. Our um, our scene is really laid back. You can wear a suit and tie if you like to. You can come in shorts and flip flops uh, if you like to. Um, uh, one, another thing that drew me to this church too is that we're able to build um, different cultures in our worship, um, in our ethnicity, in our age group. So from the music side of it, we're, we're all over the place, from hymns to contemporary worship to traditional to uh, rap to some everything. You never know what we're going to do on a Sunday morning as far as uh, worship-wise. But um, if you're just looking for a church home, even at all, the Word of Shaw may be the place for you and your family. Uh, if you can come by and just worship with us, and we'd love to have you. Indeed. Give us the times for your Bible study and for the Sunday services. Our Bible studies are Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. in our coffee shop, and then our Sunday uh, services are at 11 o'clock every Sunday morning. Um, actually, today, this is Aaron. We're actually in the streets serving the community. We actually had an earlier worship service um, and then left out to go in different, into different groups into the neighborhood to do different service projects. So. Um, but the the, re the remaining of the year will be in the, the worship facility every Sunday morning at eleven. I love it. I love it. What you say? You got to you got to go out beyond those four walls. You got to go in the streets. Huh. Oh yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I, I want to touch real quick on the children's ministry. You all have a great children's ministry as well. Ah yes, ma'am. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we've been blessed. Uh, our babies are growing and growing and growing. <laughs> yeah, and one of the things I'm working with with them at this point now too is uh, identifying the ones that have the different musical talents. Um, and just really growing and starting to do more free lessons uh, with them with singing and instruments. So that's a, that's a blessing to be able to pour into our future. It is. And because, you know, that's where, I mean, your talent, one of your many talents is music. And so what you're doing is pulling that out of the young people, pulling that out of the baby so they can give God the glory. I mean, how fulfilling is that? Oh, well, I'm learning stuff from them every day. <laughs> yeah, so just yeah. So even my uh, my youngest boy, Jafia, uh, after church this past Sunday morning to my office, just finishing up some things. He sits down in my Fender Rose uh, piano and just started playing something. <laughs> wow! So I, had to, so I had to stop what I was doing to push record to capture what he was doing at the time. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And that's a great feeling. That is a great feeling as a dad. And then also as the, the worship arts pastor, you know, to see that, you know, that your labor is not in vain. I, oh, I, yeah. I know I'm right about that. 
Oh, yes, ma'am. We definitely enjoy every moment of it, too. Yes, yes. Well, again, give us the contact information for the word at Shaw. I know people are listening right now. Uh, you know, they even may be trying to come over to the church this morning. I don't know. And and then also uh, tell us about that Easter service again and, and the Palm Sunday and all that leaving up, leading up. Yes, yeah, so the word is Shaw. We're at 4265 Shaw Boulevard. Uh, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Our worship services are every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. We actually open the doors at 10.30 a.m. and we serve breakfast and coffee and donuts and things like that. And leading up, if you would like to join us for Palm Sunday, Good Friday, or Easter Sunday, we'd love to have you. Um, we have a lot of different special things in store for these particular services and presentations as well. So we would definitely love to have your family and friends to come out and join us. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I love you. You are my friend, I tell you. And I'm excited about what God is doing, not only at, in the church, but in your personal ministry as well. Thank you for being a part of the CBC Radio Show. Hi, right, man. Thanks for having us. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Hi, I'm Angelia Bills, Vice President of Communications for the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, and I'm glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, we have on the program with us this morning uh, a man of God. He was on the show last week. And I tell you, we were talking about something fantastic that is getting ready to come up. That if you can make it to this, I'm telling you, you're truly going to learn something in the body of Christ. God is really going to reveal his word even the more to you. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Pastor Kevin Todd of The Basics of the faith ministry. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Evangelist. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. You know what I'm going to say by now. You know what? You ought to know the drill. And (laughs) that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? This is the day that the Lord has made, and I woke up very glad in it, rejoicing. All right. All right. (laughs) You know what? Now, can you, can you, can you give me that answer in Spanish? Sí, me levanté esta mañana regociendo en el Señor. All right. I'm so glad I knew what it was in English. Hallelujah. (laughs) And, and, you know, I I had to start right with that, uh, Pastor Todd, because, you know, you have so many gifts. And one of them that the Lord has blessed you with is uh, to be so fluent in Spanish. And, you know, you perform uh, services and different things throughout the St. Louis area. And, you know, I want to just touch on that real quick. How did the Lord, you know, how did did that gift come or or the Lord leading you to do what you're doing in this community? (laughs) Well, you know, um, hey amen. Thank you for the question. I I get asked that a lot because I'm I'm one of probably few African Americans that I know who are actually fluent in the language, particularly males. But what happened was that I uh, was doing a Bible study. I was directing a a, a men's Bible study at one point, and uh, in the group was a gentleman from Colombia. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we were working with an interpreter, and he said to me that, uh, well, Pastor, I, I really would like for you to teach me in, uh, you know, kind of one-on-one, because I'm getting lost. I don't understand everything. And I said, well, we're working with an interpreter. And he said, yeah, but some things get lost in the interpretation. And he's telling me all of this through the interpreter. And I said, okay, so what do you suggest we do? He said, well, you're going, he not asked me, he said, you're going to learn Spanish. And I said, well, how <laughs> How do you suppose that I'm going to do that? You know, and uh, at this time, I'm like, you know, 37 years old, 38, and he said, yeah, you're going to learn Spanish. And I said, well, oh, I'm old for learning Spanish. He said, no, I'm 50, he says to me, and I can't learn English. I'm too old for English. You're going to have to learn Spanish. And so I took him up on it, and I prayed, and, and I got me a dictionary and a Bible, and I started practicing, you know, right then and there with him. And uh I don't know. The Lord just kind of gave it to me. You know, uh, the, if you believe in the gift of tongues, there it was, right there on the spot, right? And so <laughs> and so uh, from there, 
as I began to study and develop in the language, I decided to go back to school. And so I went uh, <clears throat> and lived uh, from 2009, actually, till up until last year in Puerto Rico. And I did my bachelor's in of education there and uh, studied theology there and preached there and everything. And I learned the language there. And so here I am now. And I was preaching there and I preach here, too, in, in Spanish and in English, whenever the Lord calls me. Wow. I mean, it's such a wonderful gift. And, you know, uh, and I know the Lord is only him who has opened those doors for you, which which Amen. leads me to, um, you know, something that is just really going to be revelatory for so many people. Tell us about your event that is coming up. Well, on uh, the 26th of this month, you know, we're approaching Easter, mm -hmm. uh, which is, is Resurrection Day. And uh, our faith is based on the fact that the Lord resurrected from the dead. You mm -hmm. know, had he not resurrected, Paul says that our faith would be in vain. And so I think it's important that we understand that he did resurrect from the dead. And there are many of us who accept that by faith. We just simply believe it. But then there are those who have questions about it, they don't really believe that Jesus resurrected from the dead. And so what we want to do on the 26th, which is that Saturday of March 26th, is present the evidence for the resurrection. Uh, there is historical evidence that, we, that we're going to you know, look at that from a, from a purely historical standpoint, uh, uh, for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And uh, that's what we're going to do on March the 26th. The, the name of the event is the Historical Resurrect, uh, Historical Evidence for the Resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's going to be held at Abundant Life Community Church, which is also a Hispanic congregation, by the way, and uh, at 1216 Sydney. And we're going to do that at 1 in the afternoon for English, and in the morning, 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock in Spanish. Wow. You know, it is such uh, an excellent uh, class to take because it will be a great witnessing tool, don't you think? Amen. Amen. You know, if a person is really lost on this, I was talking with a gentleman uh, last week and he was going through many of his questions uh, about Jesus and the Bible and God. And he has so many questions that he says, typically are not answered in the church. And I know that there are a lot of people out there like that. They go to church and they feel like they have questions, and those questions are simply not answered because they're going a little bit deeper or, or, or calling for a little bit more information than perhaps we hear on Sunday morning or in Bible study. And, uh, and they end up not asking those questions. You know that guy who, who has a question, but he's ashamed to ask or right. he's afraid to ask it, or maybe he doesn't want to challenge uh, anybody, or he doesn't want people to think that he's crazy or stupid or what have you. But you're not crazy or stupid. We all have those questions. We just simply don't always ask them. That's right. That's right. And it's good to know that there is an avenue that, you know, <laughs> that you can have to answer these questions straightforward. Now, is there a cost to attend? No, ma'am. Absolutely free to the public. If anybody wants to support the ministry, there will be an opportunity to do that. Obviously, it's not mandatory. You know, you just come as you are. Uh, with with whatever uh, questions that you may have, we're going to present open to the public, free of charge, absolutely nothing. Wow. Give us that address and the phone number again. Now, because you do have the Spanish uh, class in the morning, I believe you said, and then in the afternoon you have another. So tell us the times for both of them. Okay. So the address is going to be 1216 Sydney, S-I-D-N-E-Y. That's at Abundant Life Community Church. Um, 63104, so on the south side, it's like right up at, like at 55 in Arsenal. Uh, the phone number, if you want to call me, is 314-643-7050. And the times of the services, or oh, it's really not a service, I guess it's more like a workshop. In the morning, it's going to be 9 to 12 uh, for, the Spanish, for the Spanish workshop, and in the afternoon, it's going to be 1 to 3 for English. Great. I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Pastor Kevin Todd of the Basics of the Faith Ministry. Now, Pastor Todd, I know that you are available to go into churches or ministries to help them or to actually have a Spanish service. Am I right about that? Amen. Yes, ma'am. Um, I've, I've uh, assisted uh, in Puerto Rico with, I didn't actually pastor the church there. Like, for example, you know, it wasn't my church as I was there kind of temporarily. I was always coming back to the United States, but I did, uh, lead the services often there, uh, 100% in Spanish, no English at all. So 
yeah, we I can do that. Um, I've done Spanish weddings, baptisms. Uh, just I'm a pastor, so I just did it in Spanish. The same thing we do, just do it in Spanish. Wow, you know, and and it's so intriguing because I'm gonna tell you, uh, I, I, folks say, look, we all better learn Spanish because it's turning into the second language. <laughs> you know, I know you've heard that, haven't you? I have, and you know what? Since you opened the door, if I might just step through here and give my 30 second commercial, all right, uh, <laughs> is that if if you ever get the opportunity, there is such a huge connection between the Hispanic community and the African American community that often we we overlook it, and I'm saying that on both sides, the Hispanics don't see it, nor do we as African Americans see it. But I saw it almost immediately just after learning the language. Living in Puerto Rico, I came, I live, many of my friends are Puerto Ricans, Dominicans. If you go on my Facebook page, I post messages in, you know, in English and in Spanish often. And particularly Caribbean Spanish speakers are very much like us. The food is very similar. Their favorite food is chicken, red beans, and rice, just like ours. Um, the music, the rhythm of the music is very, very similar. The food, I say, is similar because they eat a lot of the same things we eat, hog malls, chitlins. They eat uh, cornbread. They eat all of the stuff that we eat, every part of the pig. And many of that came from slavery. Mm. Most of that came from slavery because uh, there were African slaves in those countries right there in the Caribbean. And the difference was once the sl- once slavery was over, everyone just mixed and married. Here we have a lot of racial division still, but in Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Cuba, everybody, you know, married, intermarried. And so there was the racism part isn't there, but many of the African traditions that carried over from slavery still are in existence today, you know, especially, like I said, with the food, the music, and that type and that thing. So you, you see a lot of them say even the health problems that, are, that we have, they have because of the food, high blood pressure the bad diet, all of that kind of stuff that we, so many of our issues and many of our similarities are the same, good and bad, you know, that's good and bad. And I just want to encourage people that if you can learn Spanish, number one, Spanish is a great witnessing tool. Yes. I've been able to travel to those countries that will not Cuba because we weren't able to, but to Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Mexico, um, and go witness. Uh, and, and it's a wonderful witnessing tool. You know, I, 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 I try to help people to learn Spanish to do that as well uh, in, in churches. So that's, that's, uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to, to, to get outside of yourself and just not learn about your culture, your people, but you'll see that we have a lot of things in common, particularly yes. with Spanish speakers in the Caribbean, but in other parts of, of Latin America too, Colombia, Panama, there's a lot of, a lot of similarities with our races. Yes, yes. You know, as I'm listening to you, I know that we have folks who are going to hear this program and who are listening to this program. And your services, your knowledge uh, can definitely be a blessing to them. Give us your contact phone number again, would you? Yes, ma'am. 314-643-7050. Leave me a message. If I don't pick up, I will call you back. One more time with that phone number. 314-643-7050. Wonderful. wonderful, wonderful. Make me want to learn some Spanish, for goodness sake. I really have wanted to and just never found the time. I mean, amen. You know, many of the words are easy. You know, the word for amen in Spanish is amen. So the word for Lord is señor. Lord, right, is very easy. So a lot of the words are very simple. It's not very difficult. Not very difficult. Well, I'm, I'm, can't, I'm a, can't be because I, I did it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, amen, amen. I, I want to thank you again, Pastor Todd, for being a part of the show. And, and, and you're going to come back. We're going to talk some more about what God uh, has revealed to you through uh, the workshop that's coming up. Now, give us that uh, the workshop information one more time. Give us the day and the times and all one more time. Okay, so the name of the workshop is the Historical Evidence for the Resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's going to be held Saturday, March the 26th, uh, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. in English. It's going to be 9 a.m. to 12 in Spanish. The address is Abundant Life Community Church, which is at 1216 Sydney. Um, And so if you take Highway 55 to Arsenal, you're going to go left there toward Anheuser-Busch as if you're going to drive into Anheuser-Busch. You're going to make another immediate left instead of driving in there. When that street ends, 
on most ends, you'll see the church on the right-hand side, that's Sydney. It's only two stop signs. You go through, when you get to the second stop sign, that's Sydney. It's very easy to find. Um, open door, again, there's absolutely no charge. This is free for anybody who wants to come. I think it's a great opportunity for those who are skeptics, who maybe don't believe that the resurrection took place. Perhaps we can present you with the historical data that <clears throat> is convincing. Uh, and I think it's also excellent for people who do believe that the resurrection took place, but maybe you know folks who don't know, or you're looking for a better way to explain it yourself, and uh, you just haven't found the words or the or the resources that you've been looking for to kind of convince the other person. I do want to add that, and I shouldn't have used that word right there, just to inform, because really our job is to give the message the Holy Spirit convinces, and so let the let let the Lord lead you. But I hope to see you on March the twenty sixth. Oh, my goodness. I just want to say, uh, may the Lord continue to bless you in the work that you're doing in the kingdom. Thank you, Pastor Todd, for being a part of the CBC radio show this morning. Amen. Thank you for having me on. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Reggie Brooks with J.C. Supper Club, located at 9053 Riverview Drive, right at the fork of Hall Street in Riverview. I'm inviting you to come out and have dinner or lunch with us at any time you want. Happy hour, Tuesday through Friday from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. We also have uh, the availability for you to call in and place an order. So if you'd like, just give us a call at 314-755-1923. That's 314-755-1923. See you soon. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. Friends, I want to take a moment to talk to you about promise. That's right. I want to talk to you about promise right in the middle of the program. And I want to tell you that God has specific promises promises for you. Do you hear what I'm saying? If you're listening to this broadcast this morning and you are a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, or perhaps you're in ministry, or perhaps the Lord has just spoken something in your heart and you have said, one day I want to. Well, I just want to encourage you by talking about promise. You see, first of all, God's word, the Bible is full of promises. It's full of things talking about you to instruct you in this daily walk. You know, this walk is, uh, you know, it's not easy. Okay. It's not easy when you don't have Jesus. Oh my goodness. And it's challenging when you have him, but we know that we're victorious when you are in Christ Jesus. We're victorious. No matter what the situation is, we win, we win, we win. And so I want to tell you because you win, because the promises of God, all the promises of God are yea and amen. I want to encourage you this morning to tell you that it's not too late. It's not too late. Ask the Lord, seek the Lord to be reminded of the promises that he has spoken directly about you. Oh, I know he has. I know that there are some secret places in your heart that sometimes it just seems so big. What the Lord said is going to happen, you know, uh, for you when you do this and, and, and things that he spoke. I know it's some things that's so big that you like, I don't even want to tell anybody. I don't even want to speak it out loud because it's just so big oh but I'm telling you it's just right for God and the promises the promises that God has spoken into your life they will come to pass you got to believe him you know the Bible says that without faith it is impossible to please God question where's your faith this morning how big is your faith well let me pause right there because the bible also says that if you have faith the size of a mustard seed oh that's good news i know it's good news because somebody's saying "Uh uh-oh she gonna say if i got big faith i'm gonna get big things well the bible is clear on what it says about faith on what it says about faith and I want to encourage you that because if you have the faith 
as small as a mustard seed, oh, you got a lot going on for you. You hear me? You got a lot going on because God's word is true and he is faithful in his word. Friends, I want to encourage you to continue. Do not stop. Do whatever the Lord has spoken in your heart. It doesn't matter how old you are if, you know, years or months has gone by because it's God doing it. He only wants you to be obedient. Ask the Lord to remind you, to bring it back to your remembrance about his promises, his promises for you. I also want to encourage you, if you are a business owner and you're listening to this program, if you're in ministry, if you have an organization, if you have something coming up, this is a phenomenal platform to be able to talk with me, to be interviewed about what the Lord himself is doing in your business, your ministry or your organization. And You say, now, how can she say that she's phenomenal? Well, I'm not saying that I'm phenomenal. I'm saying that God is. And he has used the CBC radio show and the Christian Business Connection to be a tool for God's people. So use me, my friends. Give me a call at 314-270-2225 so you can get information on how your business ministry or organization can be promoted, can be featured here on the Christian Business Connection. You know, when we just had our CBC Evening of Synergy this past Friday, the Lord blessed. Oh, it was just a great, great time. And what we do, we bring together businesses, ministries, organizations to talk, to be on one of Court, to to be a sounding board off each other, to be a help. You see, we're all in this together. We really are. We're in the body of Christ together. And we should be trying to encourage, to uplift, to build up the body of Christ. We should be doing everything that we do in excellence. I didn't say just enough to get by, <laughs> just enough to just make it. Uh uh-uh. uh. I said in excellence. And whatever it takes, whatever sacrifice it takes, that the Lord says to do, that's the one so that it can be done in excellence. Don't you want to do it in excellence? Don't you want to stand on the promises of God to believe him, to trust him? Oh, I think you do. I know you do. Well, I encourage you to give me a call at 314-270-2225. 314-270-2225. And then I encourage you to go to my website, the CBC radio show.com the CBC radio show.com you'll see links and information from so many wonderful sponsors who have been and are a part of the CBC radio show the Christian business connection I can't begin to tell it all I give God the glory because only he could open the doors that he has opened for me only he could open the doors that he has opened for you and what he's going to open so I hope Hope I've encouraged you just on this little bit on this segment of the CBC radio show to tell you don't give up. Don't be discouraged. God will remind you of who you are in his word. Seek him. Go in his word. Be reminded of what the Lord spoke to you. There's somebody listening to this broadcast right now this morning. The Lord spoke to you many, many, many years ago that you were going to do this and do that. And then, you know, life situation set in and you're thinking it's too late. Seek the Lord. Remember his promises. Don't don't get off the promises of God, for they are eternal, my friends. All right. I'm going to take a short break right here. And when I come back, we're going to be talking with Sean Scooter Thomas, my son. All righty. Stay with me. I'll be right back. This is the Bishop of Comedy, Reggie Ridge, and this is your CBC Comedy Nugget. Well, today, friends, I want everybody to just pray right now, and we're going to believe. That's right. The Comedy Nugget today is believe, and we're going to believe right now that this cop do not pull me over because my license plates are expired. So you all been now. You know what it's like. So right now, on three, we're going to touch and agree. Right now, go. One, two, three. It worked. God bless you. Love you to life. 
Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be talking this morning with Sean Scooter Thomas, my son. And we're going to be giving God the glory for the phenomenal thing he did last night at Lyrical Bliss. So I want to welcome again to the CBC Radio Show, Scooter. Good morning. Good morning, Evangelist. (laughs) How are you doing today? All is well. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, ma'am. Me too. I will rejoice and be glad in it. That's it. I took it from you. I didn't even ask you the question. I took it. <laughs> I see you flipped well, it this morning. <laughs> right, right. Well, I tell you, don't don't you feel good just as you reflect back on how God got the glory last night at the Lyrical Bliss concert? Yes, he truly did. I'm just so grateful for everybody that came out and supported all the local artists and uh god was truly lifted up and i'm i'm just so excited because we we're not stopping there we're gonna do it again so i'm just excited well you know this is really just one of several events that wisdom over hustle has throughout the year isn't it it is we've actually got uh, our whole schedule booked for the entire year so uh definitely want to go to the website uh dot com for more updates and find out what the next event is and like I said it's just a lot of things we got planned and we just want to we just want the Lord to be pleased with our ministry that's it that's it you know you were on one of my previous shows and we talked about what actually WOH means wisdom over hustle and how the Lord gave you that but just in case there were a couple folks who did not hear that interview can you tell us Yes, uh, Wisdom Over Hustle was, it's more than just, you know, putting a couple words together and kind of making it sound cool, because I, I like to say this at events all the time, Wisdom Over Hustle, if you take the first letter of each word, you get whoa. So a lot of times we do some of the stuff and it's like, whoa, and you look at how God does things in our lives and sometimes he just shocks us and when he opens up doors and stuff, it's like, whoa, <laughs> wait a minute. So that's, that's where the whole Wisdom Over Hustle came from, and it's just basically seeking God first. Uh, making sure you put God first in everything that you do. Even it's, it's biblical. So the Bible even says you to acknowledge God in all your ways, seek him first, and uh, you know he'll direct your path. So that's what it's all about, wisdom over hustle, seeking God first before you do anything. It, it really is. And uh, it's no doubt that you did seek the Lord in having lyrical bliss last night. And I know now you say you've got something else that's coming up. Is this going to be lyrical bliss part two or, or how are you going to do this? It actually is lyrical bliss part two. So right now, actually, what we're doing is if there are any local artists in St. Louis, Missouri, make sure you're Christian, local Christian artists. Uh, we're doing a lyrical bliss part two. Make sure you email us, uh, info at wohmusic.com, or just simply go to www.wohmusic.com, send in your information. We have a screening process, and then uh, we'll make the announcement uh, next month in April. We'll make the, make the announcement with the official flyer of the artists that are going to be on the next event. Wow. And you know what? I'm telling you, uh, it's not too early because I know the event is coming up. And of course, you can go to your website. But you, I really think that you want to encourage folks. Don't wait till the last minute. Right. Please <laughs> do not wait until the last minute. Don't don't do it, because what will happen is a lot of people will ask at the last minute. And it's everything is already booked. And they don't feel like sometimes, oh, you know, it's just ignoring. No, it's not ignoring. It's because we're doing things in order. And we want to make sure we do things in excellence and we're because we're representing the kingdom of God. And I'm sure the kingdom, everything is in excellence. That's right. That's right. Well, I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in to the CBC radio show this morning, we're talking with my son, Sean Scooter Thomas. Now, I might not be the only one, you know, years ago who said now. What does Scooter mean? Well, <laughs> you really do have a specific meaning for Scooter. So tell us that. Yeah, so Scooter is is just short for Scooter People Own Jesus. That's all. Yeah, that's all. So if anybody asks, what does Scooter mean? Oh, I mean, I'm a Scooter People Own Jesus. <laughs> so it's kind of hip, and I just ran it. It's like a run-on. I just 
scooter. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. Well, I have gotten used to it. I, you know, I used to say, but did I give birth to a scooter? Yes, I did. I did give birth <laughs> to a scooter. Now, you know, one thing that I love about Wisdom Over Hustle is the fact that you travel the country. You have uh, actually a full uh, band that can go with you. You have praise dancers. I mean, you have a whole really entourage that travels to give God the glory. Let folks know how you can come to their youth event, their uh, conference, and be a blessing. Sure. So, uh, yes, like you said, uh, Wisdom of Us, we do travel in numbers. We have, you know, even, even with the kids, we're, we're truly a label built on family. Uh, everybody that's involved with the label has a family, whether it's husband and wife, husband and wife and kids. Everyone has a family. Um, so we, we travel. We have the kids. There's sometimes the hype section. We call them the woke kids. And a little insider, uh, you know, everybody that's in the label, we call each other Wodies. I'm like, what up, Wody? Wody, Wody? You know, so it's kind of <laughs> funny. But, uh, yeah, I, I do Christian hip-hop, um, a radio, you know, personality, and I host the event. So it's not just – and we have a singer as well. We have praise dancers. So we have a lot in Wisdom Over Hustle. So if there is an event that you're looking for a host, you need somebody young to kind of hype up the crowd or anything like that, or if you just need somebody to sing or rap or praise dance, whatever it may be, uh, wisdom over us. We want to make sure that we, you know, meet you all's needs and everything like that. So all the information on us is www.wohmusic.com. That's www.wohmusic.com. Uh, phone number three one four six four three seven eight four seven. That's three one four. Six four three seven eight four seven, and uh, like I said, we just we're doing this for the Lord. I even go out to say, you know what? The first five people, and this is an exclusive for my mom on her show. The first five people to to call or text or email us will come out for free, and we don't even charge. It. Well, glory to God. I tell you, it's, it's it's good to be a part of the Christian Business Connection, huh? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> That's good news right there. Now, I, I you know, we got to give uh, just uh, acknowledgement and say thank you so much to our pastor, Reverend R.B. Peterson, for just being a blessing and, and just being so receptive to the things that Wisdom Over Hustle does because it was at our church. It was. And, yeah, I, I love my pastor. He always... Uh, like I said, even from from the first time I started and decided to rap, he's been in my corner, helped me, and uh, you know allowed me to do things. So I, I just love him and love my whole church family. That's right, Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center. They are definitely a blessing, you know, to the body of Christ, to the kingdom, you know, of God. Oh, it's a phenomenal church, and we encourage you to come and visit Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center. We have an amazing pastor, Reverend Arby Peterson. We have so many different ministries, and I thank God. I'm just going to take a moment also um, to say I thank God for all the women that came out yesterday to the Esther Women's Ministry Luncheon. It was a blessing to have so many women there. And I want to thank my sister, Elder Gwendolyn Doss, who's my biological sister and my sister in Christ, because she brought the message yesterday and it was just great. Well, I just want to thank you for being a part of the program, Sean. Is there anything else that you would like to say to St. Louis, uh, you know, just in their support of Wisdom Over Hustle? So the whole St. Louis area, surrounding areas, everybody that's listening, I just want to thank you all for the support over the years uh, for me and my ministry and my record label. It's just been a blessing. And uh, like I said, truly, I know that only God opens up doors and he closes them. So everything that's been going on, I just thank you all for your support. Continue to support and not just support me and my label, support other artists, support the Christian Business Connection, support anything that represents the kingdom of God, because we're all brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. That's right. Well, I love you, my son, Sean Scooter Thomas. Thank you for being a part of the CBC radio show today. Thank you. Love you too, mama. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. 
Hi, this is Michael McMillan, President and CEO of the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. Glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Hi, this is Reggie Brooks with J.C. Supper Club, located at 9053 Riverview Drive, right at the fork of Hall Street in Riverview. I'm inviting you to come out and have dinner or lunch with us at any time you want. Happy hour, Tuesday through Friday from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. We also have uh, the availability for you to call in and place an order. So if you'd like, just give us a call at 314-755-1923. That's 314-755-1923. See you soon. Greetings, St. Louis. This is Jamie Dennis, director of the Save Our Sons program from the Urban League of Metropolitan in St. Louis. If you want to be a blessing to your father, your brother, or son, or any male that you just care about, please send them our way. You can reach me at 314-388-9840. We're preparing generations for the workforce and jobs, employment, soft skills, financial literacy, leadership development, and career training. For more information, you can look up our program on www.ulsd.com. STL.com. Good morning, and thanks for listening to Dr. Tebow Cairo's Healthy Living Tip. Today's topic is common cold. Right now, the season is changing, and you're probably a person who has a child or yourself with a runny nose, sneezing, cough, congesting, or swollen lymph nodes. That's okay, because today I have five healthy living tips for you dealing with common cold. Number one is your diet. This is very important. Eating lightly and having foods such as vegetables, soups, and broths will help your body focus on healing. Make sure you increase the consumption of ginger, onions, and garlic while staying hydrated with water. Number two, avoiding juice and dairy products. Staying away from sugar helps decrease the number of white blood cells your body produces to fight off infection. Milk and other dairy products produce so much mucus and makes you feel worse, so you must stay away from them. Number three, vitamin C and zinc. Vitamin C and zinc help support your immune system through daily activity, and the zinc also observes additive bonuses in helping you fight off viral infections. Number four, probiotics and aromatherapy. Probiotics are great for adults and even better for children. The probiotics help fight and prevent common colds. Aromatherapy oils such as lavender, peppermint, and eucalyptus are great for cough, digestion, and circulation. Number five, last but not least, chiropractic. Chiropractors adjust and perform sinus manipulations to particular areas of the body. The adjustments help bring relief and cause your body to take on the healing process that is needed. Make sure that your nervous system has the normal responsive flow. Remember, your health is your wealth. You only have one spine, so take care of it. And if you have any questions for me, you can remember to call me at 636-336-8049. Friends, haven't we had a wonderful program every single week? God meets us right here. I just love him. I thank him for all of the guests who were on the program today. You know, you can go to my website of thecbcradioshow.com so that you can get information on our guests. They're doing some great, great things in the community, in their businesses, and in their ministries. Some great outreach is being done in these ministries, friends, and I encourage you to be a part of what God is doing. Be a part of what God is doing. Did you hear what I said? Be a part of what God is doing. I want to thank again, as I did at the beginning of the program, Mr. Eddie Randall of Eddie Randall and Sons Funeral Home. i uh, tell you the work that he is doing, helping families during uh, their times of need and bereavement. Oh, yes, he's doing a great work and has been for so many years. Go to my website of thecbcradioshow.com so you can see more information about Eddie Randall and Sons Funeral Home. I also want to say thank you to all of my listeners who listen on iHeartRadio.com. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate it so, 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 so much. I also want to thank my listeners who listen to the Wednesday midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. We have a faithful, faithful group of people who listen to that program. And I 
want to encourage you to tune into it as well. It's every Wednesday at 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600. And it is simply designed to encourage you, uplift you, to strengthen you. And huh, look, every day we need those things, right? But maybe by Wednesday and that 4 o'clock hour, you really need to be uplifted. Well, listen to the midweek message. You can also hear it on iHeartRadio.com. If you would like to be on the CBC radio show talking about your business, ministry, organization, or upcoming event, please give me a call at 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225. God is doing it. I'm not doing it. It is God doing it. Let me tell you, I always say to folks, I'm just running my mouth talking about Jesus and look what he's done. Huh? Oh yeah. He's proven himself to me. Has he proven himself to you? Let me tell you, if you got a question that I can tell you how he's proven himself to you. If you're listening to the sound of my voice, if you're breathing right now, oh yeah, he's proven himself. He's faithful. Well, thank you for listening to the CBC radio show, the Christian business connection. As always in closing to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world.